Uh-oh. Oh. Now, nah, more details to come. More details to come. <laughs> Just uh, picked up a 92-300, uh, I think, TE wagon right here. So, obviously, uh, we'll have to give you some more content on it once we get it back to the shop and check it out. But 180,000 miles, pretty decent condition. Everything seems to work. Just probably needs a little bit of TLC and paint on the hood here. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. All right, we're rolling. So we just picked up this, uh, it's a 92 Mercedes 300 uh, TE wagon. Uh, got the long roof, it's got 180,000 miles, and we're cruising 70 miles an hour, and it's buttery smooth. It's got probably 12-year-old tires on it. Uh, the old pressure gauge is not reading, but it's probably just the, uh, it's probably just a gauge issue. I mean, it's got, it's got oil pressure. Uh, AC's blowing cold, radio works. Uh, interior's in fairly good, fairly good uh, condition. And everything else about the car seems pretty sorted, uh, besides the paint on the hood. Um, I mean, it's definitely a project, like most of these old Mercedes are, but, I mean, she's just humming along, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the buy, actually. Uh, you know, these are pretty solid interior materials. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot that uh, you know, requires additional professional mechanical uh, abilities to get into. I mean, they're pretty fairly straightforward cars, and... Uh, Hopefully in the next segment, I'll break down the, uh, the interior and exterior and we'll get a better feel for what we just purchased here, but uh, I'm, I'm excited. All right, so we're back at the house with the 92 300T. Um, just gonna clean it up a little bit, uh, spray off the wheels, clean the engine bay a little bit. Um, it hasn't really been washed in a while, so I figure we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, with a little bit of degreaser and whatnot to clean up the engine bay and the wheels. And then I'll, uh, I'll give you the walk around and kind of show you what we got and go from there. All right, here she is. I uh, gave her a quick wash down. Um, you can see from the previous video, us picking it up and driving it back. Uh, 1992 uh, Mercedes W124 300 TE wagon. Um, the old long roof. This has kind of been a, a car I've always wanted as well. Uh, it, you know, it's probably not as good looking as the W123 wagon, but W123 wagons in kind of rush free condition or, or I'd kind of consider unobtainium these days. They're just really hard to find and aren't completely rusted out in decent condition. So I wouldn't say we settled for a W124. I mean, the back of this thing looks, you know, almost as good. It's got the center of the slope window. Um, I love the kind of the, the dark gray color it has. Um, it's two-tone. Uh, it's not body matching 
lower cladding, which I, I do like on these old Mercedes. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's run through this particular one. It has 180,000 miles. Um, I had to run the Carfax yet to figure out how many owners it has, but I'm assuming the guy that we bought it from purchased it from the original owner. Um, great interior. You know, obviously it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's still pretty dirty. I think it was kind of used as a daily driver uh, work vehicle transportation for a little while, but it's all there. You know, you got the three headrests, um, middle seat belt, you got some extra air filters and whatnot. Um, here's the interior or the console. The wood has some cracks in it, but it's really not too bad, all things considered. Um, it's got this, these great MB Tech seats that really don't ever show any, any type of wear. Um, all the windows work, headliner's not really sagging all that much. Uh, I haven't tried the sunroof, but I probably won't. I uh, probably have to glue up this built B pillar here. Coming around back. Like I said, you know, it's just not super, there's really not a whole lot of rust, honestly. I mean, I'm sure once we put it on the lift, we might find a little spots here and there, but nothing that's not repairable. Uh, back seat's intact. It all appears to be there. The uh, SLS is functioning property, properly. Uh, I have to check, make sure the antenna works or doesn't work. Uh, first aid kit's present, which is pretty neat. <sighs> yeah, seat belts are all here. I haven't even looked in these bottom compartments. So yeah, original spare. Got some jumper cables, tool kit, and whatnot. Put that back. But, uh... Tail lights are clear, probably need to replace a bulb or two. Wheels need to be refinished, definitely needs new tires. Um, the only kind of rust issue that we found is right here, which, you know, that's something that we might be able to get patched up for not, not too much drama, cost-wise. Has the roof rack, um, and looks like a, a bike carrier as well, passenger seat. Not all the original manuals, but we have a couple of them. Hopefully we've got a radio code in here somewhere. But the door cards are clean. Again, just need to be kind of wiped down and gone through. Uh, radio is functional, AC is functional, trash control is functional, um, rear window is functional. We've got heated seats. You know, all the windows work. Actually, we've got an iPod connectability cord here, which is pretty neat. The wood on the slide back for the console is pretty decent. Um, Pull that out and clean out what's in there. So we got a little crack in the windshield, which probably can be patched at this point. Um, but other than that, it's it's pretty clean. I'm I'm not I'm not mad about it. Here's the mileage. I don't think the trip works, um, but it's definitely still rolling as far as mileage is concerned. What do you want, Frank? What do you get out of here? <laughs> what do you want? Get out of here. Oh. over here and pop the hood without breaking it this time. I did get another hood release for the uh, W123 diesel. All right, most of the factory stickers are still here. Uh, unfortunately, this car is still R12. I don't see anything that's, that's been converted, um, but we'll have to check the connections and see if that's something worth looking into. Um, I'll probably go ahead and replace the, uh, the air filter Maybe find another uh, intake hose for this. But the belt looks good. Um, AC compressor looks good. Doesn't look like it's leaking too much oil. Could probably use um, a gasket on the uh, top of the head there. Coolant's full. Doesn't seem to be leaking anything too much. I'm sure it seeps oil here and there. But everything's everything's pretty clean and, and topped off. We're going we're gonna to go through everything and make sure we're still good but uh, it seems like a very clean car and I'm kind of pretty excited to uh, see what this thing does. Oh, and it has, doesn't have Euro headlights, but the dot spec glass here does is not faded and looks like it's in very good condition. Um, usually these are kind of all faded out and nasty, but this one looks pretty good. And that's really about it. You saw the driving video uh, previously, so you know, this thing's, this thing's good to go. Um, well, I'm kind of excited for what we're going to do with it, so stay tuned.